What up, YouTube world? The real Josh Johnson 55. Uh, I'm following Michael's lead here. Uh, he made a video about inserts, old school inserts. And I collected some of these guys that have old school inserts. You can see this box is pretty well worn. It's about 12 years old, maybe, 10 years old. But Kajana Carter, Ryan Leaf, Alexander Day, Keon Clark, those four guys I still actively collect. William Green, Andre Davis, Greg Jones, Patrick O'Brien, uh, Bobby Abreu, Andre Allison, I do not, Doug Million, R.I.P. Uh, I still collect him, but nobody knows who he is, so it's tough. But anyway, I want to <coughs> get this vid, and then I'm going to snap into this. That's Kerry Collins' collection. It doesn't look like a lot, but those are just singles. That's one card of each card that I've got. This isn't like my Johnson stuff where it's all doubled up. I try to <coughs> stay away from that. At least try. Uh, let's see here. I got sort of broken down. I did this oh, a few moments ago, or as they say in wrestling. Moments ago! My God! But, let's see, I'll start with... I know I got more, but I just want to get something out there. And that book value, I don't know what half this shit book's for. And nor do I care, because I'd rather have, as Michael and uh, Chris said, I'd rather have some of this shit, because this is when fucking cards are actually well-made. Inserts look nice. They actually meant something. And, uh, today inserts, you're just like, oh, card number to 500. And then, woof, throw it in the garbage. Who cares? So, <coughs> sorry for the coughing. Still can't get over that cold. I take pills. I take <coughs> all kinds of shit for it, but it don't matter. First off, we'll start off with the 95 Pinnacle Zenith Z-Team. It's got the mint doofix foil. Marshall Falk. What up, Todd? What up, Scott? Because he went to the Rams after that. Uh... Aikman Z team. What up, Louie? What up, Steve? Those are I got those for ninety nine cents. I don't know, two three years ago. A couple phone cards. You remember those? I have tons of this. But a couple blood so I just picked those up recently, as you may have seen. Uh, this is a ninety three four sport. I don't know what the hell it is. It's acetate though. Numbered. It's that limited of like sixty three. Of 66,000. Then the Ultra All Rookie Team. This thing used to book 30, I believe. So, I mean, again, if people don't know this stuff, or they just fail to recognize it, it's their own fault. This shit used to be rock solid. This thing used to, I believe, book for about 30, 40 as well. Fleer Prospects, Drew Bledsoe. See what else we got. And in my mini blood so collection, I'll show a few cards, like the rookie there. But then I got another one of those all rookie teams, uh, Electric Diamond, Silver Edition, and another one. Uh, quick Impact, something first Impact. This is of Action Packed Rookies and Stars the Silver Border Stargazers. There's like three different sets. Uh, the Collector's Edge, the Nitro. 22 karat gold. I uh, got the Doofix, the museum collection, or 95 Pinnacle. One of my favorite insert sets of all time. I'd love to collect this set. Uh, pastime, 95 score. And the card Supio. Bloodso. And then Keyshawn's got a little mini card. Right there, you can sort of see it. Let's see if I can fiddle with it. That little card comes out. It goes to black and white because <clears throat> there's a blood so many that you can get for that too. Again, just stuff like that. That's where I miss Pacific. Where they actually were innovative with shit. And now it's all about jerseys. I'd rather pull a card number to 500 back then. That was 50 bucks. And the stupid jersey. Brian Dabacher. I don't know. Danny Amaradola. Uh, Shockwave 98, er, yeah, 90, 99, uh, Collector's Edge Advantage, uh, 
um, Ultra Award winners. Let's see what else we got. Game Breakers is a different one too, where it's like the he's popping out of the card. Uh, n never compromise. Robert Edwards will never play beach football again. What the hell's that? That's not never compromise. Double threat. That's a never compromise. Uh, Live wires. 99 upper deck. 24-7 uh, on the Holograph X. There's a couple nice ones. This was a one per box insert. This is the die cut version. How did 97 Edge Extreme Advantage? I don't know. They used to have these boxes all the time at Kmart and I scooped them up. But you get a silver. You got the silver you can sort of see there. You got one of those per pack. And there's I think two or three golds. And then there's one of the die cuts. And these, that, I buy boxes of those if I could find them. Right now, I would do that, but I cannot find them. Uh, Predictor, 96 upper deck. They used to have the cell, too, if the guy won. Won a, like, he had 300 yards that week, you get a cell card, like the acetate. Chris, does this look familiar? An absolute die cut here. And then I like this one. That motion. Boom, Giants. Boom. And this is a limited print run of 2,000, which, again, back then, that was a limited print run. <coughs> if the elites were booking for like 15, 20 bucks just for a common, and those were 10,000, that shit was intensely popular with the collectors. This, probably best insert set of all time. SPA, uh, 94, Holograph X, or Hollow View, whatever it is. There's the red die cuts as well, which, Michael Jordan's in that set, and A-Rod's rookie. That was Klutzko, here's Pat Listash, Juan Going Going Gone, Gonzalez, uh, Bo Nose, Bo Jackson, Jeff Paper Bagwell, uh, Cliff Wood, one of my favorite players of all time. 92 Bowman's probably my favorite card of all time with him dunking like the eggplant sh colored shorts. This was a 1 in 37 card out of 94 Ultra. Rising Stars, Jeff Bagwell. And that used to book, I believe, 25 ish. I'm sure, now it's like 2. This is the preview out of 94 Upper Deck for the 94, I believe, SP Authentic. Which back then was just SP Super Premium. But that's, depending where you lived, you'd have Upper Deck, I believe Series 1, because Series 2 had like the Mantle Long Shots and shit of that nature, and I could be wrong though. But specific boxes, like for the Midwest, East, and West, I believe it's a five card set for each region. And that, again, that was like, somebody had that, all these cards here on SCF, I think, for just like, 25, 35 cents. I bought a ton of them. Uh, but there's more stuff from like 2003, 4, and 5, but I'm all I'm trying to stick with the 90s flavor. Right here, what do we got? It's a 95 Power King of Klesko. The I like the foil. That's something that, no matter what the price, I always get sucked into it. Mike Piazza Rising Star with a Fleer update. Uh, the Select Can't Miss Clasco, who I was also a big fan of. So you can sort of see why all these inserts are picked up. Power Driven, I believe? Power... P what the fuck is this? Power Package. 96 Upper Deck. And we got the Then and Now. Kenny Lofton. Shalele. Shannon Stewart. 3000. Uh, tools of the trade. I got a Paul Molitor on one side. George Arias on the other. And these were tough as fuck. I remember getting lucky in 97 Tops Baseball. What the hell is this? Series 2, I believe? I pulled three refractors of this. Out of three different boxes. I got the Ripken one, the Griffey one. What else? The Maguire, I think. 
Not all of the time they book like 80, 60, 60 to 80 bucks. <coughs> but this, the guy wanted like 50 cents for this. Jeff King, who probably nobody even remembers. And then Molitor. It's like, people are stupid for not buying these. I don't care if it's, oh, it's not a logo. Fuck you. I don't need to have every goddamn Premier Warren event jersey thing. I put on a fundraiser and an upper deck representative is going to snap it up. Diamond King to 10,000. Uh, Elite Craftsman to 5,000. I'll save that one for last. A nice looking CAD. Or one of the last. Uh, Hall of Gold. Barry Bonds. Titan or Power Pace. Barry Bonds. Score had some of the best inserts. I missed them in Pacific set. Titanic Caters. Barry Bonds. Uh, titanium. Albert Bell. Die cut. Uh, A Rod. Ticket to Stardom. Die cut there. Oh, let's see what we got. Uh, Barry Bonds Team Timber, which is like a wood type finish on the card. This thing is just fucking fatal. I love. Stadium Club old inserts, too. I mean, any of these old inserts, this might be like a $3 card, but if it's in your dollar box at a show, or like a 3 for a dollar, put this shit out if you can't get rid of it. You guaranteed. Somebody sees that design, or it just pops off the card. If they don't buy it, they're an idiot. Sorry. Then these were the Coupe de Gras. Now, this is a Coupe de Gras. These are the creme de la creme, I should say. <laughs> Getting my phrases mixed up. Of inserts. 91 Donruss Elite Matty Williams. To 10,000. These used to book commons for like 50, 60 bucks. Last year at Nationals, 09, I bought a Howard Johnson for $1.50. Four people that I was with, <coughs> including Elon, the Pistons fan, were just fucking marking out. So I'm like, get that for that? That's cheap. It looked like this. Ken Griffey Jr. Elite. So that's that. I mean, that's not a lot of these old inserts. I've sent a lot out, and I've sold some shit over the years. But I've I've had so many old, just quality, quality inserts that I've loved. And I keep if people on dirt cheap. They want to trade them away for game use. I don't care. Fuck. Hit me up. I'll I'll do some dealing. Any of that mid nineties, uh, the pinnacle, the score, Pacific. I might have to show my Frank Thomas shit now that I think of it, because I only collect Frank Thomas stuff from uh, ninety to nineteen ninety till ninety seven, I think. I don't. I'm trying to remember because I never really pick anything of him up. So, but there it is. Some inserts for you. <coughs> to some <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. To make you salivate. So, part two, three, four, I don't know. It's going to be a, a few videos for these inserts, so take her easy, YouTube, if she's easy. Twice. <laughs>